Today I'm out in the shop removing the transmission lines at the radiator on my F-150, but this applies to any 2004 and newer F-150 or 2008 and newer Super Duty trucks to include the F-250, F-350, F-450, and the F-550 trucks. This is a short video talking about the transmission line connection, but if you want to know more about replacing the transmission lines on your F-150 or other general automotive work, modifications, and tips, then see my other videos. The connections we're talking about are a quick disconnect and they work great at the factory when new. They just simply push in, but after the truck is old and the connection is dirty and corroded, it can be quite difficult. You need the proper tool to remove the line, whether the line is new or old. Here I'm showing the Lyle tool fully inserted into the quick disconnect. In a minute I'll show the Aschenbacher tool in use and actually take the line out for you. I'll put a link in the video description for a couple of tools. One is the Lyle disconnect scissors, the other is an Aschenbacher cooler line tool. For the F-150 and some of the Super Duty trucks, it's a 3 8 inch line and for some of the other Super Duty trucks, they have a half inch line. You need to use the proper tool for your line size. To remove the line, simply put the tool around the line and then insert it into the fitting. Easier said than done. To make the job easier, be sure to soak the fitting with PB Blaster or some other penetrant the night before and during the removal. Once the tool is inserted all the way into the fitting and has pushed that retaining spring back into its bore, simply pull the line and remove it. To remove the 3 8 inch or half inch OEM fitting from the radiator, you need a 27 millimeter socket. To remove the half inch Dorman replacement fitting from the radiator, you need a 26 millimeter socket. Here I'm showing the old fitting with the retaining ring, the nylon insert, and then the O-ring deeper inside the fitting. Now that concludes the video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe. I look forward to your comments.